What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of a Goodwill with about 30 other resellers. This was part of a Connecticut thrifting meetup, so I'm curious to know if I could still find stuff inside of this thrift store with about 30 other resellers. Well, let's see how good I can do. First things first, we're going to walk into this thrift store. I'm going to head to the back, basically get you know, as far away from everybody as possible. Maybe take a look at the media. I start to see the big blue sign up there that says books. I'm starting to see some VHS tapes, maybe DVDs, some records. And that's the kind of stuff that I know the most about. So let's take a quick look around this corner here and realize that I'm kind of blocked off. So let's go back to these VHS tapes. And the first thing that pops out to me is this Dogma VHS tape. Now I know Dogma sells really good on Blu-ray, uh, but let's take a look at it on VHS. I just saw Aaron Carter has been having a tour going on right now. So this might be worth something just because of his tour. I'm not sure. Um, what else do we have in here? Down from the mountain, do not know that. Basically I just look for things that I've never heard of before and of course anything that's horror like what is this Saddam Hussein defying the world that is um, Could be worth something to be honest. I have no idea uh, Lots of Barney VHS tapes guys I highly recommend if you see any to at least look them up I'll pop a couple prices up on the screen so you can see I'm not even joking Barney stuff sells so well It's pretty wild um, I think I'm just gonna snag these two for now. Maybe I'll look them up. Maybe not. They're only a buck each. If they're not worth anything, it could be fun to watch. So, yeah, we're gonna keep looking around. Oh, is this? Oh, that's Scooby-Doo. No Barney. No Barney. And you could probably, honestly, what's the half-off color today? It is green. And there's all green right here. You make a little Thomas the Trank Engine lot. 50 cents each. You got all of these. Boom, 20 bucks easy. And then you could throw in Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol for free. Man, there's too many resellers in this store. I'll never make any money. I'll never make any money with him here. Oh, look at this. Everybody's scanning. What does Goodwill come to? Huh? You get a job here and then make money. Oh, yeah. That's a. Heck yeah. Yep. This is what Goodwill has come to, guys. All right, take a look at this cute bag right here. Winnie the Pooh, all stitched embroidered on there. Uh, I don't know if there's an actual brand name on this. It is $6. That's actually not that bad. Oh, it even has a little... Oh, the zipper's poo. Wow. That's actually really cute. This might be vintage. It looks vintage. I feel like this would sell for at least $25. I don't know. I'm probably not going to get it, but maybe somebody else will grab this. This is pretty cool looking. I like that. We got two casino arts down here. They might be brand new. Uh, $30 they are from Target, so they are brand new. These white tags mean that Target has sold them to Goodwill, which makes me think that this Starbucks Verissimo is also from Target, which I've sold these in the past, and it's not. It's 30 bucks though. This could be really good. Let's flip it over and scan it live. And I'll show you guys how much it sells for. All right, so here we go. We'll scan it in, see what it's going for on Amazon. All right, 70 bucks. So $44, they're asking 30. There's no way that's gonna happen, so we're gonna leave it behind. Looking up from the Verissimo, I noticed a Sony Dream Machine. I sell these all the time. $3 is not a bad price. I get about 25 plus on these. So this is an easy pickup for the Sony Dream Machine. Where is it? ICF C318. I'll pop the price up here so you guys can see it. These sell really well. They sell really fast and I've sold a lot of them. What do we got here? A bunch of Funko Pops. Five dollars each. The Jack the lamp lighter. Yeah, I think they're all the same. And there's a Disney mirror verse of Johnny Depp. Ten dollars, Jack Sparrow. All from Target. Why are they? They don't have the yellow tag, but these have to be from Target. There's no way they would all be here. Kind of odd. And then we got a whole bunch of DVDs that and CDs that people are scanning through. It's over here. Gears of War and Rare Replay. This was a fun game back in the day. Oh. It only has the Rare Replay in it. Or maybe Gears of War was a code. Not sure. What else is in here? 
You look these up, these new ones? I did. They, they go Not for good. like, um, they're a dollar here, but they go for 10 plus free shipping online there. I'm trying to do 10 or above. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can, so I have one already. Oh, no. Grand Theft Auto 5 for three. I think this has come way down. Plus it's missing the extra disc, okay. We'll leave that. There it is for PS3 for five. This one only uses one disc. But five, I believe, is too much. Let's look it up real quick. All right, so it's scanned in on Amazon right here. And yeah, used only going for 1098 now, 446. If it was, you know, a buck or two, I'd grab it, but obviously at five, I'd be losing about 60 cents. So we're gonna leave that behind. I did end up finding that Sony clock, which, you know, it's $3, it's an easy 20 bucks. So I think I'm just gonna snag it, why not? Let's grab it. Oh, okay, we have an Xbox 360 in the glass case for 50 bucks. Two controllers, both controllers. Let's see if we could zoom in on that. The analog sticks are a little destroyed. Oh, my bag's kind of making it hard to see. You can see that analog stick is chewed up on both of them. 50 bucks is a little high also. If it was 20, maybe. But uh, especially with those busted controllers, there's no way. We'll leave that behind. Got a little Stepmaster down there. What's that say? Monkey Adder Mustang Cheetah? I've never heard of that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, look at all these toys up here. All of these toys. Looking good. Anything good up here? Got Monopoly Eras. Oh, Don't Wake Daddy. I remember this game. This was a great game. Three dollars, half off, a buck fifty. Box is all tattered, I'm sure. It's missing some pieces. What else do we have here? Monopoly Bridgerton, based off the show. Uh, oh, it still has the seals on it. It's gotta be from Target, I'd have to imagine, yeah. $15, no thank you. Oh, this is vintage. Disney's DuckTales Play-Doh, look at that. $3, just for the box on the shelf looks worth it. This is cool. Let's see how it looks in here. What do we got? Oh, we got the duck. To, oh, look at that old Play-Doh in there flopping around. We're going to leave this behind, but the box is really, really cool for $3. I like that. Um, we got some slide trays. What are the odds that there's some slides in here? Probably empty. Yeah, they're empty. Darn. Every once in a while, you can find some cool vintage photos from 50s, 60s, 70s inside these, but I'll leave those. What's on this side? Another vintage game. Somebody donated their old school games. Mousetrap for five bucks. Uh, made in the USA. Let's see, what year is this? 1986. Pretty cool, I love final. Another oh, Hungry Hungry Hippos. This looks like it's from the 80s as well. Pretty cool. Oh, look at this Nerf bow and arrow. Is this actually vintage? Or is it made to look vintage? That's the question. Let's see. Does it have a year? It does, 1992. Oh, this is cool. We're gonna look this up. It's huge, so shipping will be a little bit of a pain, but let's look into that. All right, so I tried to look it up. No exact matches, but here's a, the exact same one uh, with a different year. Uh, for $29.99 with one arrow, here's a lot of two with 20 arrows sold for 175 best offer. Um, hmm. Now this one might be worth a decent amount because it's in the box. Let me try typing in 1991 instead. See what comes up. Okay, there we go, 150 bucks. It's the exact same one. And this one is eight. Uh, there's 38, so it's nice because ours has the box. Now let's check the solds. There's gotta be a few solds, right? Yes, there are. 30, 35, and 175 for two. Now, if this has all the arrows plus the box, I definitely think we'd get a premium, maybe $55, $60. Let's, uh, let's open it up and take a look. I was just bamboozled, guys. It's filled with actual trash. <laughs> what is this? Why? Why was it filled with trash? Uh, well, now we know. Keep an eye out for these Nerf bow and arrows. They actually sell pretty well uh, as long as they don't have trash in them. 
Another thing I always like to look out for are these Yahtzee Juniors with themes attached to them. And this Toy Story one for $2 right here is a great seller on Amazon. New going for 55, used going for 30. The only issue is, it is missing a bunch of the dice. So you're gonna find that a lot when you're out thrifting, right? Things aren't gonna come complete, that's okay. We'll leave that behind. So even after getting bamboozled by the Nerf bow and arrow, I still left with some profit. We got that alarm clock radio that I'll make 20 to $25 profit on and a bunch of CDs that people passed up on that I still found, right? People are flying through this place. I'm gonna make at least $50 profit on those CDs. We're looking at about 75 to $80 profit in about a 30 minute trip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.